So behind me there is the, the northeast corner of the Great Pyramid. And you can see the line of camels and horses and carriages that are along here. So they're local Egyptians. Most of them live in Mina Village, where I'm staying right now. To this, it smells like a stable outside my place, but I love it. I've got a beautiful view of this pyramid outside my window. I'm with the, uh, the humble people of the Mina Village uh, that's in Giza. And so uh, most of these guys, as I said, they, they live in the Mina Village and they, they keep their animals right over there. Well, there's a new plan for what's going to be done with Giza here. They're already building an entrance uh, over on the, the west side that's going to be where all the traffic will come in. So the entranceway that brings people here uh, to the north side of the Great Pyramid, over by the Mina House, that's going to be closed. And one, not, one thing that happens now that people don't like is you come in and, you know, you're, you get barraged by people wanting to, you know, ride my camel, ride my horse. Now, the Egyptian government has set the price of 350 Egyptian pounds per hour. That's the set price, and, and if you get on and get a ride from somebody who charges that, that's fair. But a lot of guys will do it for less because there's competition. And so I've had some older guys, you know, just offer to do it for 50. They'll take me on a camel ride for 50 Egyptian pounds. And some say 100. I told, a guy told me today 150. So, so Americans don't like, you know, that kind of, you know, barrage of, you know, buy this, buy this. And so what the Egyptian government's going to do when they build that new entrance, they're going to put all of the camels and horses and everybody into a, into a place in the back of the complex here. And then when you come in, instead of now just buying a ticket to go to the Sphinx, you buy a ticket to go to the Great Pyramid, you'll also buy a horse or a camel ticket at that time. And then if you do buy that, you'll get on the tram that'll take you around to where the camels and the horses are, and then, you know, you next in line. It's just like taxis will be lined up. You'll get the next one. So it cuts out all the bartering, the competition, the undercutting, and there'll be a set price. I talked with a couple of camel owners and stuff that like that. I talked to some that don't like it. Uh, but it is going to rationalize traffic around here. But, but in conjunction with all the new plan to make Giza, and, and also, I should mention, the, the Grand Egyptian Museum, which is just a little bit uh, north of here. The large, I think it's the largest museum in the world. It's already open to people to pay. It's not going to officially open until 2020, but I know a lot of people, including, you know, my friend Andrew Jones, who was in there yesterday, $300 a head. You know, so you can get in now with money, but it's going to be open to the public in 2020. So there's going to be a road from that museum, the Grand Egyptian Museum, which, by the way, the way they built it, one of the sides of the Grand Egyptian Museum goes to this side, of the Khufu Pyramid, and the other one goes to Menkara. So the Egyptian Museum, the Grand Egyptian Museum, gem, the new one, actually is aligned with the pyramids of Egypt. But, so a tram, uh, you know, will go between there and here. It's going to all be rationalized. So as part of that, we hope that, uh, you know, my friends, the camel drivers, you know, the people that have horses, that they're, they're treated fairly. It's part of the new Giza. And part of the new Giza should be the trial passages, which are right to my left, which were built by the original builders. They're about 100 yards east of the Great Pyramid. They run parallel to the east side of the pyramid. You've heard me talk about them before. They're right over here. They've been in garbage for 10 years, filled with sand and garbage. So I'm trying to petition the Egyptian government to open them. I think they're a great treasure. They were built by the same people that built the Great Pyramid. And they're much easier to access. They're right here on the plateau where everybody walks. Some people are scared to go in the Great Pyramid, you know, do all that climbing and stuff. And, uh, you know, they, they should be here for, for scholars to study and for tourists to enjoy. Giza, one of the great places on earth to go.